I just absolutely love when an RV manufacturer gives you, the people, what you were asking for. That is what this fifth wheel is. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And for y'all that are returning viewers, we are at the Hershey, Pennsylvania RV Show. Today is setup day. So there's no crowds here or anything, so I'm taking full advantage of this opportunity to film as many RVs as I possibly can for you. So this tour is going to be a little bit quicker than I may normally go. I'm not going to go quite as deep and detailed into information, but I think y'all will still like the flow and pace of this video, and I'm going to give you everything you need to know. Now this fifth wheel here is, I don't know if y'all remember, but I've done multiple videos of the Passport 3400 QB or Q, I think it's the QB if I remember correct. And that is a travel trailer that has four double-sized bunk beds. And everybody loved that floor plan, it seems like, especially families that had, you know, maybe five kids or whatever it may be, or just, you know, two kids that always bring friends, things like that. But there were a lot of people saying, where's the fifth wheel version of this? And this is it. So Keystone Sprinter made the fifth wheel version of this floor plan. I'm really excited to show y'all. We're gonna go through a couple things on the outside real quick. Um, I'm gonna start from the back and work my way forward. So we do have a towing hitch off the back here. This is a 3,000 pound hitch off the back, ladder to get up onto the roof, prep to add a backup camera. It is gonna come equipped with solar standard for Keystone RVs. This is a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel. And Sprinter is pretty interesting because this is still kind of technically what I would consider a not a full-size fifth wheel but it it's like it is but it isn't because some of the requirements for a full-size fifth wheel is having like a flat roof or nearly flat roof all the way to the top definitely needs at least a full profile front cap which this has because there's no slant going down into the roof the only thing this doesn't have that full profile fifth wheels that are more expensive have as far as the overall build of the frame is it doesn't have a drop frame down underneath here so no drop frame that is going to give you, you know, not as deep of a storage compartment. However, still a big storage compartment nonetheless. So a good space in here, very wide through here. You can see aluminum framing on this fifth wheel, welds on both sides of your frame connections as well. And a hundred inch wide body construction. So a lot of space in here, but the way that Sprinter is built is this just comes in at a very aggressive price point. Now, as I talk about price, there is no pricing that is currently displayed outside on these RVs. So if I can find the pricing, I will hopefully remember to put it on screen here or down below in the description. If you don't see either of those things, it's because I was not able to find a exact pricing and I don't like to share, you know, pricing with you unless I know that is what it is. I don't want to give you false information. Um, but you have a full molded fiberglass front cap. One unique thing about Keystone as well on the outside is you do have this hitch vision plate here. So this gives you kind of like a mirror setup, you can see that there. So you can see as your truck is backing up to your hitch or to your pin box, how that is lining up. You have a road armor pin box here, so a shock absorber here in the pin box as well, giving you a smoother ride. Storage space up front equipped with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries standard. You have 30 amp solar charge controller. And the lithium batteries is a big deal because I still have yet to see other brands going to lithium battery standard on their RVs. And Keystone did this last year as well. And that is like, two thousand dollars worth of battery equipment right there so definitely a lot of really quality equipment you're getting with those batteries two outdoor speakers two awnings outside and then let's go to the other side real quick and just check and see if there's anything interesting to talk about over here additional solar connection here down there auto leveling controls right here gonna have two 30 pound propane bottles one on each side nautilus water management system that's new for um, the keystone sprinter line so you have that Nautilus water management system there, very easy and concise to use. And this door is locked right there. Cable driven slide out mechanism on these bigger slides and same with your smaller slides as well. So all cable driven slides. This is an electric four point auto leveling system. And then you have fully enclosed underbellies. So all of your water tanks and water lines will stay warm with that enclosed underbelly whenever your furnace is running. Um, let's look at exact specs real quick. Unloaded, this thing is 1300, 300, 13,340 pounds, sorry. And it has a cargo carrying capacity of 3,190 pounds, getting you to a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,590 pounds. So this here is a huge fifth wheel. I'll get the um, length on it here in just a second, but this is going to be what I would consider like a 
one ton or one ton dually type of fifth wheel. It's a big fifth wheel. There's nothing small about it. Um, now let's go inside, or actually one last thing, real quick, real quick. Goodyear Endurance American made tires and you have a road armor suspension here as well. So a more premium quality suspension system. Okay, now we can go inside. Lippert solid steps as you walk in, solid steps on both your entry doors. And then as we go inside, this is the 3810 QBS. Does have the thermal package. So this is going to have everything you need to camp in all four seasons just about. We're gonna look and see if it has three ACs. That may be the only concern. And you know what? I'm gonna show you all the living space. You might have already seen it, but I gotta go make sure this door, you can't see the best part yet. Pardon the interruption, but real quickly, I have something that I'm really excited about. And y'all know if you've been here for a minute, I very rarely ask for anything from y'all, but I'm gonna ask for something right now. Down below, there's a link in the description of this video or in the comments as well that is going to be a link to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. Firmly Unbound, as you can see here, is my company. And that is going to be another YouTube channel that I'm starting that is all about living a firmly unbound lifestyle. Now, what does that mean exactly? Firmly Unbound is an expression of freedom and exploration in work, play, and faith. And that is what that YouTube channel is gonna be all centered around. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming, some stuff I can't even talk about right now, but it's coming. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You aren't gonna to wanna to miss it. So go subscribe to that channel so you don't miss anything that's coming in the future. Thank you all, I appreciate you for watching. Let's get back into the video. So this is it right here. This is the interior living space. Now this is what we've seen in a lot of other bunkhouse models or maybe um, fifth wheels that have like a bed in the back bunk room with a loft over the bed. So very similar to that. You get some nice features with the Keystone Sprinter though. So like this Thomas Payne furniture does have a wireless charging pad in the armrest, two cup holders there, heat and massage plus outlets there as well and storage down underneath here. These are gonna recline back as well and they will be able to lay back. Really nice furniture color as well. Let me know what you think about the interior color scheme because it's definitely a lot of like that light contrasting with dark colors. And then as you go to the dinette table here, you're gonna have the legs in the dinette table. You can take those out to make this into a bed if you wanna collapse this area down. Windows all along this wall. It does have pull down blackout shades on all of your windows. You're gonna have balances that go down the window so excess light doesn't bleed in through the sides, something a lot of other brands don't do. And then as you open this up, that is a big pantry space. Lots of room in there. It's a nice big pantry. Gosh, huge space there too. And you have space up above there that you could put some things as well. Um, I just looked up, you have a Coleman Mach AC system here with residential air filters in the AC. And as we go this way, you're going to have, because of the wide body construction, you can just kind of feel it like in this space, just feels very easy to move around and open. You're going to have a Furion three burner stove and oven. This is gonna be the larger Furion oven. So it's not like the super small one that you see in travel trailers. So a bigger oven there, that does give you storage down underneath here as well. So for bigger storage, you have a residential size microwave. That's a standard microwave. Storage up above there and storage through here. Then you have your island. This is going to have three pull-out drawers here. Those are all gonna be the same size. You even get one off the side here, that's different. Not used to seeing that. Then you have a stainless steel sink, black faucet there, kind of an industrial looking faucet that you'll have with that. And then really nice looking solid surface countertop there with a good looking color. But you let me know what you think on kind of the design and colors and whatnot. You have a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This is gonna be about a 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Now they do still have this divider in there. I'm not gonna take that off, but that's gonna be just freezer on the left, refrigerator on the right, max air vent fan above this area as well. And then you have some interesting looking light fixtures here above the island. Going this way, you're gonna have a Vizio TV. So nice to see a higher quality TV. That looks to be about a 50 inch screen TV. So that is large. Big storage here as well. Or not, I guess it's wide storage. It's not really big, <laughs> but you have wide storage there. Not very deep, but very on sound bar here. And then a electric fireplace that is going to be an electric heat source for you. Um, in your slide out, you can see that this does have the same flooring here that you get in the other portion of the RV and then underneath here it does have a wrap sub flooring it's hard to show it because there's not really a good vantage point to do that but you do have a wrap sub flooring in the Sprinter as well 
Now let's go back here. Check this out, y'all. This is going to blow your mind. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to go this way. Oh my gosh. Look at the ball. Oh my gosh, it gets better, y'all. I just saw something. Oh my goodness, y'all. You can sleep so many people in here. And look, there is a loft storage space up here. What a great idea. I mean, so many brands would have taken this and just built the bathroom to be as tall as it could be. They have an additional storage space up here so you can throw like your bags that you're not using or whatever you may want to put right there. And then you can sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kids in this space. So this can sleep 10 people when you add the bedroom up front as well. And you get a half bath back here. This is you know, whoever's staying back in this area, the kids own private half bath with an entry door to outside. You do have a sliding pocket door here as well. You can lock this door if you're concerned about kids leaving or whatever. So you can do that also. And then you have all this storage space as well. And because this is a hundred inch wide body construction, the space in here, you really just have to get in this RV because it's, I mean, it's a little tight coming through the door, but it's not crazy. And then it just feels like an incredible space in here. If you wanted to put a huge TV here, you definitely can. This looks like this could fit probably like a, at least like 50, 55 inch screen TV, maybe 65 inch screen TV. If that's something that you take on the road with you outlet here as well, four drawers that pull out across the top here. And then you're going to have storage that goes all the way through here. Yeah. That's going to be some big storage space through there. And then you have more storage through here and storage down here. This is just incredible. Ceiling height in here because the ceiling or the roof goes all the way flat to the back. Like they could have slanted down the roof in here as well and they didn't and it just makes it feel so open. I absolutely love that. I love the way it feels in here. These bunks are huge. See your bunk down underneath here as well. Have lights for each bunk spot also. And make sure I'm not missing anything. Pull down blackout shades on your windows here. It looks like a black pleated shade on these windows. Oh my gosh, man. I'm just so impressed. This is so cool. This is just so cool. Um, these bunk beds usually support 250 to 300 pounds or so, or at least that's what they're rated for. So keep that in mind also. And then back in your half bath, of course you have your storage space down through here as well. You can see back through here, kind of confined through there. Nothing crazy, plastic sink and medicine cabinet storage. Ceiling height in here is probably about like six, four, six, five. So plenty of ceiling height and an AC in this room as well. So already seeing two ACs for sure, dual ducting with the blade AC vents and this additional loft storage. That is just so interesting. Just a great idea to add that in instead of making this bathroom just a full height there. So really, really cool bunk room area. Very curious your thoughts on what you think about this space. If you see this as a practical, practical, usable space or just what your ideas are. And it's going to keep getting better. Um, I haven't even gone up into the bathroom and bedroom of this model yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great. So when you walk through here, you're going to have your in command controls here. So this will link to your phone you can control this RV from your phone as well. You do have black tank, gray tank and freshwater tank heaters. So this is going to be a 12 volt electric heat source, battery heat switch to keep your lithium batteries from being damaged when they're charging in below freezing temperatures, tankless on demand water heater, and then some light switches and fan controls. So you come into the bathroom, you're going to have a pretty standard size fifth wheel RV bathroom. This is going to have a good ceiling height in here. Um, I'm 6'2", and as you can see, the ceiling height in here is probably about, I can't even stand on my tiptoe, so it's probably about 6'6", six, six or so. Maybe 6, yeah, probably 6'6", six, six, it's safe to say. So when I step into the shower, you can see it says rectangular shower. Nice looking panels on the wall there and my head does go up into the skylight it's about actually it's right at about six foot two to right here so probably about six foot four six foot five with the skylight and then you have your black faucet here or black shower head definitely prefer that over the white looks a lot better you have a nice big sink through this space your toilet is a little off center so it does give you shoulder space on the sides that is a um, porcelain foot flush toilet you have your medicine cabinet storage vent fan up in here as well and then storage back along this side so you'll have storage back through here as well and that is your bathroom then as we go into the bedroom let's see what we got for the parents 
suite here. Um, you can see they added this little black knob there. That is so that this door does not hit that door. And then back through here, east to west facing, king size bed. The 100 inch wide body construction definitely gives a good amount of space in here. You can see walking space through here as well. And then you're gonna have outlet down here, has a nice looking headboard design, two lights above one, or one light above each individual. And then you're gonna have some storage space here as well. Spot to hook up a TV on the wall. Open this up, you have that storage space through there. And as we move back this way, you have a spot for stackable washer and dryer. So you can do washer and dryer in here. And in the closet, pretty thoughtful design here. So you have this multi-shelf system there and then a clothing rod that goes all the way across here to that point. Plus this looks like it's a motion activated, uh, actually no, sorry, not a motion activated light there. Um, but you'll have a light in there as well. And then you have your third AC in here. So this is gonna be a three AC unit, Coleman Mach ACs with the residential air filter. Very quiet, dual ducting throughout your ducting system here as well. And that is this new 2024 Keystone Sprinter. You also have this really cool light right here that's not on, but a very nice looking accent light over your entry door. Very curious your thoughts on what you think about this model. Let me know down below in the comments because I just think this is so interesting. Again, it's a 3810 QBS. If you miss me talking about it, I do not have pricing information. If I was able to find pricing information, it will be down below in the description of this video. And then finally, go and check out the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. It'll be down below in the description as well. And there's no videos posted yet, but I want you to subscribe to that channel because I am going to be posting different content there that's still you know, related to what we're doing here, but it's not gonna be RV tours. It's gonna be something different. And I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be kind of about living a firmly unbound lifestyle and what that looks like. And I'm really, really excited. So go subscribe to that channel. There are gonna be videos coming and I'm really excited for that as well and for showing you what's to come over there. So go check that out. That is all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think about this Keystone Sprinter here. And until next time, live firmly on bound.